Hey guys, this is uh, Black Goldman Seven here, and today we'll be going over our KCBL finals. Uh, as we are up against uh, Nav Intense Spies or the Poison Stings yet again for a grand finals matchup. So um, it was either going to be Nav or Mazes that I challenge, as we were able to beat uh, Kevin or Kevin BGC. I've had a tense battle, but. I think we managed that game very well, so if you haven't watched the game, be sure to uh, I'll link in the description if you want, but well you probably know the results by now, so I don't think you're probably interested. But regarding this game, um I did do a team builder going through all the members of my team in particular in detail, so if you guys want to watch it, feel free to write feel free to uh go into the uh go like watch it and like description as I do go over all my mons and reasoning for them so but I will go over them now just a little bit of a brief summary um Vadias most of my team is basically the same from last time it's just that Ladias has Calm Mine over Defog, Heatran has Flash Cannon over Earth Power and Anticipation for Romatis Kirim uh, just to handle his uh, Steel Dragon Paracore. Manaphy is now Bold Nature to take a hit from Snorlax from Facade or Body Slam, as well as you know set up on Tox effects. Forges has Tox has Toxic removed for Defog. Crocodile has Toxic now. Girder is pretty much largely the same set. So, so let's just get right into it. So, um, knowing this game, there's two things that just there are two things that really struck me. One, the lack of both. Toxapex and Snorlax, and that just, that alone just like, made me realize, holy shit, like, um, I didn't bring either Snorlax or Toxapex, and I was mainly preparing for both of them <laughs> to come this game, and it, I, I honestly didn't think that Hippodon or like Raikou was going to make an appearance at all, I felt strongly that he would bring maybe Banette as a Dest Destiny Bond set, or maybe he didn't bring it at all, but I, I knew that he was bringing Aromatisse and, uh, Cartana as well as Kirim, like those three, like are for sure in. Since Kirim was having like a very strong payoff performance, I figured he might just bring it, and I and I thought that maybe Kirim might just bring like something like Choice Vex or Choice Scarf or something like that. So yeah, um, for this game, I felt strongly that I should have led um, Latias and Heatran, like one of the two, because I felt maybe if I get oh. Uh, like a good situation against either Raikou or then again Raikou could like you know volt switch. Like I felt like either Ladias and Heatran were my best lead, but I felt I didn't want to get uh, get hit by like Hippo them, so I decided you know what I'll just lead Ladias. So I went with Lion Dragon as he goes with his other Mega, his Osiris or the Banette. Um, he doesn't have a uh, risk, so I'm very surprised about that. So. Here I double, make a double, and I actually get a very good positioning now because now I can like set up my uh, rocks here as, uh, or I just go for flat for lava plume. It's like one of the two, but I feel like you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go for my rocks, and he goes for sandstream as a sandstream ability. Interesting. Um, and I go for my manfi expecting his rocks, so. Um, so it's pretty much a few first couple turns of rocks, double switches here and there, so nothing special. Um, I did take some damage from Sun or Sand. Goes to Raikou here, as I do anticipate like a switch of some sort, and I go for Surf. As I get a good amount of chip damage thanks to the Sand and to the Surf of damage itself, so it's really nice getting Raikou very low this early in the game. Now, because at least I don't have to, I didn't like. Um, how to say it? Said Manaphy in for nothing. So yeah. Here I decided to switch out and go into Florges, as he goes for Signal Beam, expecting Crocodile, I believe. So um, he's getting chipped down with Jupiter. So he goes to Hippowdon here as I go for Moonblast. Now, honestly, this is where me just wanting to get like a better hip Florges set. Maybe like Spadef special attack was nice, but I don't know. So. I do miss the, or he does miss the Tox against me, and I do go for another uh, Moonblast 
And I do get my wish up, so. I am a pop a berry here, so I could, like, or 50% berry. And I am able to recover with the wish, so. Now, I'll pay close attention to the next few turns, because I think this next few turns pretty much dictates the rest of this battle. So, already I decided to go back to, to my uh, blue, and he goes to the slack off, so I, expect, I kind of anticipated this. I pretty much, here I make a really reasonable play as I go for a sub. Here, as I avoid the toxic, so. Nothing new here and whatever, so. I decide to attack here, expecting either Raikou or Aromatisse to heal up his Raikou. But, he goes hard into Kirim. And I was kind of curious as to why, but Kirim does make sense if he is sped F. If he has like some kind of roost set and whatnot, so now this is where like I really am gonna have to break the whole story monologue just to tell you guys something. I really should have paid attention to the Kirim spread because obviously that is one hundred percent AV, <laughs> like given the damage I just did. And no leftovers, and the lack of the damage that's put itself is just very, very interesting. Now, you're gonna realize now why I say this, so... I go for Psychic just to see what how bulky this thing is, and... He goes for Dragon Pulse, and I switch out, and I go into Florges. And, uh, he goes for Dragon Pulse, and I'm like, alright. I go for Wish, and one thing I do want to keep in mind, how fast is this Kirim? How, or, it's very slow. Like, ridiculously slow, like, to the point where, like, I, Florges should have been out. I think I should have, Florges shouldn't have outsped that. At all. Now, I'm very curious as to why this is, and I'm like, and that should have screamed AV the whole time. That should have just screamed AV the whole time, and, to be honest, that's pretty much my first major, major misplay. This battle, this is my first major, just from like a, you know, battle perspective, because I realized this sh isn't a regular Kirin. And honestly, I should have just, yeah, I made the switch into Manaphy just to recover a bit, and as I do. However, with the wish, and it, it makes sense. However, the next thing I should have done here, and this is why I... I'm pretty much, this is the one play I really regret, and I'm gonna have to talk about this now, right now. I honestly should have hard switched the girder. Because he's revealed Dragon Pulse, Iron Head, a a and he's AV. The problem is, at the time of the battle, I wasn't paying attention to shit, so. And I was just, a lot of things going on. Now I was high, I don't want to say I was stressed. But I guess you could say that. But as I I knew this was one of those things where I should have just caught on, but it really didn't caught on to me until the very end. And I think at the time of the battle, like as you'll see, um, I attempt to set up with Tail Glow, and the thing is, I should have just I didn't really recollect back then that during the match that this was AV. And I decided to set up with my Manaphy, attempting to destroy this uh, Kirim. And Manaphy can't beat this Kirim. But the problem is, I pretty much sacked Manaphy here. Like, I should have went 100% to Girder for two reasons. One, Girder was my wing con this game. Like, one of my wing cons. And it could handle Kirim. It was literally, like, I literally made the, the Girder set just to handle Kirim. And it's... And based off the damage, has no special attack investment at all. It's just bulk. So, and also I have rocks on the field, so... I could have just easily, like, worn down Kieran with rocks, plus, like, you know, neutral damage, like, you know, with Dragon Pulse, Moonblast... With any, any, with any other of my Pomons, except for Manaphy. But I realize now that this was, like, a huge mistake that I made. And one that you're gonna see that I'm gonna regret for the rest of the game, so... I am able to get rid of the Saturn, and he is able to get in with Raikou, so 
has four on his end, so. So now his Raikou, I decide here that it was a good time to go into Florges because I could activate my Berry. However, this part right here just kind of like that's the death drop kind of sucks. But then I realized this thing is AB, so I also should have calc that as well. I should have looked into my damage calc throughout this the early part of the battle because I think that alone should have avoided this whole Manaphy debacle and also losing floor just like this because I think that alone was really what happened. Like, I'll get into that in a bit, but I'm gonna just continue with this battle, alright? So, so we, I'm able to knock out the thing, and it's a, it's a clear 6-4 lead in my favor, so. He has Cortana, and I'm like, alright, I have a sack here, so at least I can uh, do something with the sack. But I have to kind of, like, figure out what he wants to switch in this, the guy into. So, or what he wants to do with this Odin or Cortana, so. Here I make a very, very hard read into Maki. And I go for uh, this thing, expecting him not to go for the Leaf Blade or, or not to go for like a, 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 a Bug Buzz or not Bug Buzz, but like a, a X Scissor or like Knock Off or whatever, like something similar. Um, here I honestly should have started setting up immediately because, but then again, this is it was a Cartana, so I think that's that's reasonable, but yeah. Now, the reason why I say this was a very bad misplay regarding the whole, uh, like, the Kirim is because what I, Girder is pretty much designed to, like, remove items. It has knockoff, has Dream Punch, has Mod Punch, even has Bulk Up. But the problem is, this Hippowdon still has its leftovers, Aromati still has its leftovers, or whatever item it has. Um, Kartana still has something, I don't even know what it is, so... And you're about to see um, some problems that, that are going to arise from this hippo, so. Um, here I decide to sack my Florges because I felt, you know what, maybe it's time. I want to see what he's going to do. And I honestly should have just hard swapped into Girder here just to remove the item because that would have just helped me out in the long term. But it also meant that, like, I would have, it would have been, like, it would have been the same situation, it's just that, um... No, I probably would have lost Girder in the process, but I don't know. But, like, I, I just don't know. Like... Uh, maybe I could have, like... Went to Crook, even. But then again, Toxic King for... He would have probably read the Toxic, but I don't know. So, um, because obviously Girder, a Hippo, and Aromatis are, like, the only two standing in my way of possibly winning this game. As well as, like... But then again, we don't know the Cartana set or the, the Bennett set, so but I have to be very careful about this. And this is the part of the battle where I realized, well, I don't have my berry. <laughs> and I realized, wait, what the fuck happened to my berry? And I'm like, oh yeah. So, as you're probably noticing by now, that battle, I was probably disorganized in a way that, like, I was kind of, like, not paying attention to little things that, like, you know, I should have been paying attention to this whole battle. And at this point, you're going to see that's going to bite me in the ass, so. Um, I go for Surf, and at this point I realize this thing is also Spadef. So, I honestly shouldn't have gone for Surf that early. Um, I probably should have preserved Manaphy until, like, once Hippo was very, very low. And I should have just, like, gone to Girder. And that way I would have just, like, removed an item. I know Romantis hasn't been sent out yet, but that would have been the perfect time to send in, like, Girder and going into Heatran and whatever and whatnot, so yeah. Um, I definitely agree that this was a really bad misplay, even here. Just letting Manaphy die for no reason, so yeah. Um, so, I'm pretty much... In a way, I'm, I'm pretty much sacking Mons, in a sense, to this Hippo. As I'm gonna keep going for... And honestly, I should have just went for another Calm Mine right here. Because, um, I know, like, this is one of those things where, like, I should have just went for another Calm Mine. Like, I made pretty much every possible misplay that I, they could think about making. I pretty much make it, this whole battle, for the rest of the time, so. 
Um, I should have just went for another calm mine here because if I'm just gonna start calm mining, then you might as well just go for the game end game right now. So, um, that doesn't do anything at all. If I went for another calm mine, maybe I'd like get some damage. But of course, uh, I get toxic here, and the leftovers isn't really helping. Like I said, throwing a girder at any point in the game to remove the item the leftovers on Hippodon would have been amazing. So. Um, I would have got poisoned and also got my guts boost. Now, this was actually a 45% chance for me. This part right here. Um, I just, I know I skipped this part, but. Um, this was like a. This was actually a 45% chance for me to Oko the Powdon based off of whether or not, like, his investment. Now that I know. However, I didn't know at the time, and I felt like, okay, maybe the roll is in my favor. So, maybe I could just attempt to kill this thing. Like, maybe, I, I thought, I assumed the roll was in my favor. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. Like, if I get, like, the 45% chance roll, then I pretty much, I pretty much, I don't want to say win the game, but it looks a lot easier now. Because, about Hippowdon, he trends pretty much free to do whatever it wants to do. And I could just pretty much click... Lava Plume, Flash Cannon, whatever. And weaken his team to where, like, Girder, Crocodile can beat uh, Cartana by itself, so. However, as you'll see, I don't get the roll. You already saw that, but, like, as this Hippowdon is just gonna pretty much keep stalling me out with uh, Toxic Recover. And I go for another Combine here. I Like I said, I should have went for this, like, the turn prior. Like, because maybe I could have been able to even, like, done major damage to this uh, Romatis here. If I had a third Calm Mine. Like, imagine. Like, I would have pretty much got rid of two Pokemon. Both a Hippodon and a Romatis. But then again, like, Kartana is like... Like, I don't know the item. It could be Scarf. It could be, like... Just, like, AV or something like that. You get me? So, yeah. Um, even then, like, I think AV, like, Kartana like, dies to, like, plus two, or, no, it doesn't die, but it gets very, very, it's very, it's like a two-shot, it gets two-shotted by plus two Dragon Pulse and a Mock Punch, so, yeah, but it really depends on the investment, but, yeah, I pretty much let Latias die here, in a sense, because of what happened, so, a lot of things I'm just saying, in particular, what ifs, so, Aromatis could have been like very much lower, so we go into Pop Tart or Heatran, so um at this point I honestly should have just went for like I, 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 I debated about going for whatever move I felt like. He goes for protect and I go for flash cannon. And as here I try to catch the uh, I try to catch the anything with a flower plume. I don't think he's gonna go into um, I thought he would go through Kartana, but I did not want that, so I just went for Lava Plume. And I do get the burn, but he also gets a first body, so I guess you could say it's even, but... This part of the battle kind of sucked. Because I was kind of... At this point, I kind of got irate here. <laughs> because I was... Yeah, like, I'll, at this point, I'm like, great. Now, this he has a chance to switch into Kartana and just win this game. But honestly, it doesn't really matter much, but, you know. Um, now I have to kind of hope that he's not fast at all with his Banette. Because I have a feeling that he might be, and he's going to go for knockoff, and it's going to be very annoying. Or hell, he could just have the uh, Destiny Bond and just get rid of me. Because this, like, he put me in a very, very weird position here with this Banette. Because now I'm like, is this, does this thing have Destiny Bond, or whatever the hell it is? So, um, here he goes for the, uh, Pain Split, as I go for Taunt here. I honestly shouldn't have gone for Taunt, but then again, he would have lived, so. Like, I shouldn't have, like, that was another misplay in my end, because I could have just been able to, like, been able to get rid of this Banet. you get me? And with, like, near, like, without having to lose my item. And again, like, I could have, like, been able to get rid of this Banette without losing uh, my item and whatnot, so yeah. Um, 
as you'll see, he goes for a knockoff. So that was a very important turn. And I was pretty much, I thought he would go for a knockoff right then and there. I think he got me right there, but whatever. So um, now this heat trance almost is like literally low as hell as hell. He doesn't have Destiny Bond at all, so um, so yeah. Um, here I decide, you know what? I might as well just go into my girder. And again, now I go to girder when I should have just gone to girder at any point in the battle. And whatever, so yeah. Um, and here I decide, yeah, I have to go start bulking up now. As here I actually go for a drain punch here because I felt that he would switch into a Romatis. I didn't want that, so yeah. Um, he goes for earthquake or whatever. I should have just kept going for like bulk ups here, really, because if I'd gone for like bulk ups, like maybe once or twice or like several times, maybe I would have been able to get back into it. But then again, I would have been like you know low in HP, so so yeah. I'm also curious that he's also like relaxed nature where he could have just outsped me the whole time so that could have been big but I'm very curious about why the relaxed nature there but um uh, because Gerder is like 40 speed and uh hit pad on 42 or 47 or something like that so honestly I should have been cursing curse, not by cursing but bulking up with Gerder the whole time as you'll see he's gonna do the same thing as like he did with Lottie off so yeah so this is Paladon just really just holding him down, holding the line here. As I just have to go for bulk ups now. And I'm able to recover off the damage, but you know. Um, yeah. As you see. Um, pretty much this battle, he's going to run out of like, I think he has only like one slack off left after this whole exchange. But yeah, we're not going to clutch this one out guys so as we really don't have any resources left Kartana pretty much is already going to be like a huge pain in the ass for us I honestly should have gotten had I gotten a crit with Girder or even Latias against this hippo I think this would this battle would have been different but again I could have been this battle would have been a lot more different if I went for the second combine or several more bulk ups or another bulk up with Girder because I think at that point, like, I could just break his Paladon with two, like, with a plus two Dragon Pulse as well, so. And then I would have just, uh, it would have been a very, like, I probably would have went for the Psyshock play, or Combine, another Combine. And then he would have probably went for Aromatis. Like, it's sort of the same thing right there, but then, I don't know. So, um, so basically speaking, we get stalled out. And uh, with the toxic, toxic time just ticks. As I go to toxic here, and I pretty much, at this point, I just had, I just did it because I revealed it, whatever. And he had toxic again, so I was like, whatever. Now my only chance to win now is if he, uh, if I'm able to get a curse, not curse, but a moxie boost with my heatran or no, my girder. Excuse me, my crocodile. So yeah, heatran dies. I am disappointed like uh Heatran, like the whole way I play Heatran there, but it's whatever, so yeah. Here I go for Earthquake as he decides to go for Slack Off as he has no other like at this point he has no other play but to just go for the uh Earthquake because he knows he doesn't want to give me a Moxie boost, so yeah. As all he has to do is just click protect and he wins. So So basically we lose to Mav in our first finals defeat. So so, regarding this battle, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty salty about the whole battle. After the battle, after the, the matchup or whatever. Mainly because the way I played Manaphy versus Kirim, I think that alone just solidified the whole game. Like, I think there was a lot of things I did wrong this game. I don't want to say, like, these little, like, little things that I did wrong this game that just affected, like, that really, really just the momentum in terms of the whole this battle like setting up on Kiram was probably one of the worst misplays I've made throughout I'll say any draft league I've been in I don't know if I I, mean, I think I mean worse but in terms of like insignificance in terms of significance in this game like you know like in terms of high stakes battles if you get me 
Um, I think this is up there, so yeah. Um, I think definitely saving Manaphy for the end game would have been a lot better, as well as Gorgeous. But of course, me getting a like you know once I get a free switch in with Gorgeous, yeah, I could do, I should have done that. Um, and also like, had I had Manaphy for like the Hippowdon, I probably would have been able to break through half his team. So with Tail Glow, so once Kirim was gone. I know like hip like Raikou and uh Cart is still there, but they don't want to take a plus three serve. They don't. Like I would have gone rid of either Kirim or not Kirim, uh, no not Kirim, but like the Aromatis, Hippowdon, or the Benet. Um and I just pretty much let decided, you know what, let's just kill this Kirim right now. When I had another girder ready to do that for me, so yeah. Um, in a way, this battle really just came down to, like, I think prep, really. Because I really hard prepped for the, um, the Snorlax and the Toxapex. Especially Snorlax, because I felt Snorlax, he was gonna try it again, since, uh, in our last battle, like, even though I barely won that game, his Snorlax was able to paralyze my Manaphy, and it just, it cost, that, that alone cost a lot of trouble. And I, and I, that game, I think Girder was able to clutch that game out towards the end. But this game, um, I, I think I did crit his hippo out on at that, at that game, but he would have been very, very low. Like, and my Manaphy was very healthy at that time. But that was that first game. This game, where it's all the marbles or nothing, I should have preserved Manaphy well. And I don't know, to be honest, um, I know I don't want to put excuses or whatever the hell it is, but I definitely played, I definitely misplayed that ter during that exchange, and I, I'm definitely going to own up to that. I know, like, the whole game was just, like, pretty much decided right then and there. Um, I could have also set up Calm Minds here and there, or drawn a girder just to, like, remove the items on the Hippowdon, and then to attempt to set up again with the Latias. I could have done that. And then, like, I would the roll would have been in my favor, and I would probably would have just been able to kill the Hippowdon and kill the maybe another Pokemon or weaken Kratana or whatever. But that alone would have been helpful. And then, like Tran, like without Hippowdon, then Tran just probably wins that game by itself. Like maybe just going for Lava Plumes continuously. So, um, I know the Tran play against Hip Banette was like very like uh situational, but like yeah. Like, like having that barrier would have been helpful, but yeah, whatever. Um, one thing I will say is that this game really came down to, uh, it really did came down to prep, really. Um, it's just that I hard prep for Snorlax, Toxapex. I know I'm repeating myself, but I really want to stress that because, like, I really didn't have much to bring this game, like... I, I know this is finals. I could have probably been finals with like bringing Rotom, though, for the first time, or even Scyther. But then when he has a Kyurem and how defensive his team is, it's like, yeah, I can't really bring Kyurem. I can't really bring Rotom Mo or like Rhyferior or like Rotom, like, not. I already said Rotom Mo, but like, um, what is it? Scyther. When he has a Kyurem right there and like potentially a Hippowdon wall me out so yeah um another thing i would say is that this game really just came down to like like i i i i, I know i'm saying it again but just i just cannot stress that enough so um like especially with like my moveset selections with forges i think having default on forges was pretty poor on my end or because if i had either protect or wish no either protect or toxic this game like, uh, for this matchup, this would have been, like, I think I would have won, for sure. Because Toxic Hippo and Toxic the Aromatis, or Toxic on the Kyurem, or Toxic on the anything, really, just puts me in a better position for this matchup. And I honestly, I feel like I honestly threw this game. Like, that's what I feel like. Um, I do think that Mad played very well this whole game. Like, he did what he had to do to win, so I'm not, I'm not, like, mad that he just stalled me out. I'm just mad that I played like that. I just, you know, I'm mad at my own misplays. 
that's pretty much our ups I, I, I don't want to say I'm mad because that's in a way it implies you're a little bit crazy but more so like upset I think that's pretty much the pretty much like the best uh way to describe it because I just don't I don't feel that um I don't feel like I was able to play it to the best of my abilities this whole game especially like th throughout this whole game like just, I think I had like maybe one, if I had made one or two plays better, like especially the Manaphy, keeping Manaphy around for the end game and just killing Kurum and Raikou later on, I don't know how, but later on, but just preserving Manaphy, then maybe I would have won. Yeah. But again, like I didn't really consider how valuable Manaphy was and how valuable Girder was dealing with the Kurum. Um, so yeah. So. I do blame this battle on myself, in the sense that, like, I honestly should have prepped a little bit better and played better. So, again, like, another thing you kind of would want to mention, and I know that this is, like, this is the last thing I'll say about the what I could have done better. But it's not really regarding the battle, but most of all, like, timing. I did choose to do this battle earlier, and, yeah, you could say I have regrets on that one, but, like, uh... I mainly did that because I was kind of like, um, I didn't know when the hell I'm going to battle throughout this whole week, or even record videos really. So I was kind of stressed out about that, like not having any videos, not having any battles done or whatever, or and I knew that like there was not really or because like whatever because like I had a lot of shit going on in my plate. Like, but not like anything, there's just like certain personal issues or IRL stuff that just occurred around this time. And I felt like, you know what, I don't want to like stress everyone out or whatever. I just want to do the battle as early as I can. Not early, but I was just like, you know, without having any interruptions, without having any of that stuff. And, and I knew that either way I was going to get that type of reaction, not from like the chat or whatever. But like more so from like you know people that I live with or whatever so so that end I don't think that's gonna change so yeah but I do think that like this battle I definitely definitely lost this battle and Mav won so yeah so I do think that I played very bad for this uh, for like the middle and the end like I should have just like even then once I lost Manaphy I should have just led or not led, but like, uh, I should have just started calm mining immediately. And I just started attacking stuff, so yeah. So, um, even then, like, I don't know how much, how much is it bad misplay that I made, or how much is it that, of errors I made, or whatever. Like, I, I definitely know I made mistakes this game. And I just want to figure out, and I'm not gonna, like, figure out how to, like, correct these game, these mistakes, because I definitely don't want to have them again. I know this, like, certain events, Kind of happened similarly to how like certain I played a certain finals, and uh, I don't want to recall that because it really just it was just a really bad experience for me in the finals of that that one time. But I I won't I won't say which finals, but it's not it doesn't have anything to do with this one or or any draft league. But it's just like another battle I did regarding BGC. But yeah, um, but yeah. Um, I definitely lost this game on my own accord, on my own faults, and yeah. I'm gonna try to see how we can rebound from this loss. Even though the season's over, um, I'm gonna try to my best to win another title here, so... I don't know how, but... i definitely see how we'll... I don't know how we're gonna do it, but... I do see myself more driven to do this type of stuff now. So... But this this comes from having like two back to back losses, and that did like shake me up. Like having that that like this battle did shake me up in terms of like, like oh shit I lost again. So, so, I'll admit I don't take my losses very well, especially like if it comes down to if if it's an all or nothing lit battle. So, I got over it now. So, like just after like not thinking about it for a while and just looking back now and just looking at it so. I mean, if I had, like, recorded this battle, like, this match, like, at the time, like, you know, immediately after it, 
which I've done before with some matches with like PFA, SAO, but like then I wouldn't have done that. Like, or I would have, I wouldn't have done that in terms of like record the battle afterward because then you would just see me like just pissed off and angry and whatnot. But I will admit I was a little bit pissed off, but it was just mostly like a lot of stuff at the day that happened during that day. But yeah, this was kind of like, oh great, the icing to take. But then again, it's just the icing, or not the... I think this was just the cherry on top. Not the whole thing itself, so yeah. So, like... I do want to congratulate Mav for, like, uh, beating me. Because I think, after, like, what, six, seven tries? Or I don't know how many times I battled him, but... It seems like I was able to... I was finally beaten by him, so... But it was still a close match, I'll admit. It's just that I made a lot of screw-ups here and there, so... Um... I still, like, even though, like, I still think that this battle was won by Hippowdon, like, 100%. So, like, if, if I think had he lost Hippowdon at any point in this match over Kirim, I think that game would have just... It would have just fell in my favor the whole time, so yeah. Um, maybe he just knows how to play Hippowdon well, so... Um, I didn't play this battle as well as I could have, so yeah. So, anyways, I think I'm repeating myself over and over. You probably are just typing whatever comments you have in mind, which I do deserve. So, anyways, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna end the video off there. So, on the last note, I on well, two things. One, I will be doing a recap of the season as well as uh, uh, Amino Draft Tour. I haven't decided whether I want to do it together or separately, or separately. But I d d just consider those as like mini update vi videos or whatever. So you don't have to watch those. But I'm just gonna make it. So if you haven't watched the battles, I will talk about them in detail and whatnot. So I'll probably do that within a week's time or whatever. So yeah. And the other is the fact that um I am definitely gonna take a break. I don't want to say take a break, but like, um, but I'm definitely going to take a break from League for a while. I won't be joining any other League for a while, except for this one. I know this one, we're going to be taking a break up until like November when Let's Go Pikachu Eevee come out, so, um, or whatever, but like, I'm not going to be joining any Leagues for a time, just because I just want to clear out some things. I'm still going to partake in PFA, so... Um, on that end, I will I will partake in PFA and just finish out the rest of my league battles there. Right then, we're like, I think 8 and 1 end just at the moment, so yeah. So. Hopefully, we are able to win one more title and not end up like this, so yeah. So, I think I'm going all roundabout, so. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys next time, so take care.